Welcome everyone, in today's video I'll be going over the disaster that was dropped for many people as well as we've responses and more importantly what we can do going forward to make sure we have better luck next time. I think it's really important first to get some of the facts right, so there was issues with the drop today. For most people I spoke to that I saw on stream, uh, we couldn't get into the app, got kicked out, couldn't get to access to the drop and basically missed out on that drop. A few people were able to get in, had maintained access and were able to get multiple copies of the drop of the correctable. And now at the time people were saying this is potential what happened in the past with previous issues where you had to stay into the actual drop screen for a good half hour before the actual drop to guarantee your press. Whereas if you left the app or left that screen, you'd be kicked out basically just due to the high demand. When I attempted to get back in, I along with other people encountered the same problem of having to sign in, the sign not working and get the message that there's too much traffic accessing the app to get people in just now. Um, so I wanted to wait to do a video on this because I wanted to see what the official response from Vivi would be. And as you can see here, what they've basically said is, um, they of course apologise for this. And it was down to one of their third party providers not being properly scaled at the time and they weren't prepared to handle the volume of traffic coming in. And they talk about how Identify This resolved it and what happened tomorrow or any of the future drops. So I'm wondering, um, you know, first of all, how did not stress test the uh, system before now? Obviously, it's a small team of work going on. And I don't want to be a, a VV hater. And I don't want to be a VV fanboy either. I just want to give you my honest, no FUD, no filler opinions here. Things do happen. Um, we need to be very careful from VV's point of view. What are they actually doing? What steps are they taking to make sure this doesn't happen again? Because you don't want to lose the confidence of a user base and put off new users coming in as well. It's really important they feel confident in putting their money, their gems into this app and to hold these collectibles and buying these collectibles. So it's good to see you've identified a problem. We've said they've resolved it, but only time will tell. We've got another drop tomorrow, which is going to be Elsa and uh, Wizard Heart from Disney. So it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, my plan for tomorrow is really simple. I am going to be into the app maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes before the app drop and just stay in it and see what other people's response. I usually watch the Vault stream. See what other people's response is when they go in and out of the app and test the waters for me. But I will be trying to stay in it. Now, I'll move on quickly to what else has come out. Uh, so, this was today's drop here. I want to drop people's attention that the common here was 12,333. And we are 6,333. If we look at the upcoming drop, the WoW E1, which is announced, as well as one coming out tomorrow, at the time of recording for Elsa, it's slightly different numbers. It's over, it's 10,333 or 12,000. I don't know if that's just a misprint or whether or not that's correct. And here it's 6,300, so that's the same. So that appears that the WoW E drop and the Elsa drop is 2,000 less. I do not know if that's just a misprint or not, but I just wanted to highlight that to people to let them know. If you enjoyed this video so far, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help out and lets me know that you enjoy content like this. What I'm going to do now is just show you uh, on the app a couple of things. So, uh, full disclosure, I did not get any on the drop today, but I was able to pick one up on the secondary market when it finally opened about an hour or so after the drop. If I go in just now, you can see currently um, what I paid for it. So I paid 67 gems and it's currently sitting at the floor price of 148 gems. Now, what I'd like to point out here, my strategy was today I was going to try and go for a buying box at 6 gems. So in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, I am going to be spending 6 gems today. As I was always do, keep my eye on the market when it opened up. And I saw one going around about 58, 59. So I decided to scroll down and try and find around about 60 to 65 gem mark. Fortunate enough to get one at 67 gems, and that was all I was thinking about at the time. Um, I had set my mind out, my goal was spend about 60 gems and get the uh, correctable, which is what I was able to do. Uh, it just so happens that at the moment the price has gone up quite a lot, almost three times what I paid for it, and three times the buying box price. But what I want to point out before people get too excited here is if you look at the price on the app just now, it's sitting about 149, 165, 178. But please look at the top number there, uh, not the buy now, above the buy now. Homer and Bart, 703, that's the number for sale just now on the marketplace. So what that means is, we had, as I showed you there, uh, about 12,666 uh, drops 
of the common. So that basically means there's 11,500 not on the market yet. So that does mean a few things. First, a lot of people got their buying box and haven't been on the app to check or haven't been on the app to resell or just hold on to it. Could be people generally just want to keep it and not interested in selling it. And it could be people with multiple uh, drops who were on the app when everybody was off buying three, four or five drops of this and just holding on to them and just selling one at a time. So there's a lot of things to go in here, but I am definitely going to keep an eye on this market. I'm going to be looking at the total number selling just now and the price. So I'm going to hold on to it just now. I can't guarantee what I'll do in the future. I may sell the correctable depending on how the price goes, but be wary because we've got so many drops coming up. There's so many people trying to get a good price on their correctables to try and get the gems for these new drops. You may see the actual this price now go down in time. It uh, just really depends. So always stress, keep an eye on the market, uh, use your own best judgment, do your research and decide for yourself what you want to do. So my plan going forward, as I said, hold on to this. In particular, for tomorrow's drop, I'm going to be in the app on the drop page well in advance of the drop time, maybe 15 20 minutes beforehand, just to make sure I've got a price there and this doesn't happen again. VV have said that I've resolved this issue, it shouldn't happen again, but we just don't know. I feel that each drop coming up is going to get more and more popular as more and more people find out about it. Particularly the Star Wars drop, the Iron Man drop, and the Walt Disney drop are going to be very popular, I believe. What that means for you is you should be on the app, checking what's going on, keep an eye on the market, keep an eye on the drop information, checking out videos, and making sure you're up to speed with all the latest news. If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider watching this one here. I'm in a competition just now for a free NFT on VV, or check out my video here on some hidden gems on VV that you should be checking out. Thank you, and I'll see you next video.